Okay, we are looking at lesson 102 today. We're looking at sums and products of functions. Yes. I'll look through. Okay. So if you have f of x and g of x, if those are two different functions, whenever you want to add them, f plus g of x is the same thing as f of x plus g of x. Okay. It's just saying like you can add them separately or you can add them together and then plug in your value. Okay. We're going to look at it. We're going to do it two different ways. We've got h of x equals x plus 3. Omega of x equals x squared minus 6 find h plus omega of 2. Is it not? No, that's theta. They like it a lot. It's a Greek letter. This isn't theta. All right, two different ways you can do it. So first, write down your two functions. Okay, two different ways you can do it. You can take your two functions and add them together. So h of x is x plus 3 plus x squared minus 6, which is what? We're just trying to add them together. That's just if you're adding them, like h plus the other one together gives you x squared plus x minus 3. So why are you adding those Because it says add them together. <laughs> Our variable, so we're pretending that 2 is not there. We're just adding the 2 together. And those are the 2, that, that's what you get when you add them together. But what value are we wanting to use for x? So what would be our two functions at 2? Well, 2 squared plus 2 minus 3.
else. How do I know what? So it says plug in two. It tells you that is your X. Okay, so you can do it that way. You can also write it like this. We're going to just do them separately. You're going to figure out what is your X going to be this time, though. It's still 2. So what is H of 2 plus theta of 2, or omega of 2? It'll look like a zero. True. You can take it and break it into two different ones. Just like here. If you have them together, make it F plus G. So, how do we figure out what H of 2 is? You've been doing this in your homework. What about this one? Right? So H of 2 is what? And then plus what? Which is? Did you get the same thing? Does it matter if you separate them? Or if you do them together? Okay. Let's look at another one. Okay. Um, I don't think it really matters. Alright, let's look at another example. We've got H and G. To that in a minute. We're just going to practice. H plus G of X, what would that be? That's an arrow. Sorry. H plus G of X, what would that be? Whatever H is plus G. Now, does that simplify? No. How would it simplify? Okay, so what number are we looking for? This means what? What about this one? Can we plug in 5 into G? Why? It has to be a negative integer to plug it into H. I mean, into G, sorry. It can be plugged into H, right? Can we plug it into H? I mean, into G? So what do we do? No solution. Oh, wow. What? Okay. Doesn't work. So can we do that for mm -hmm. You can do that one. You can do it this or no solution. Does that make sense? It doesn't matter what your answer is. You can't even get to an answer because you can't plug it in. Does that make sense? 
so, do you need to erase all your work? No, it doesn't mean you did it wrong. It means you can't actually plug it in. So, is that a good thing to look at before you actually start working? Yes. Okay, looking at another one. Mm -hmm. Yep, I know you'll have it. <laughs> this is H and this is G. Find H of whatever. Yeah, it just, yeah, that's true. It's just telling you more information than you need. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now we're looking at products. If you have f of x and g of x, if those are functions, fx, I mean fg of x is the same thing as f of x times g of x. So we have H and G. H G of negative 4 is the same thing as H of negative 4 times G of negative 4. Does that make sense? How can we find H of negative 4? that make sense? Yeah, that's what that equals. Negative one. How can we find g of negative four? Plug in negative four, which is what? Okay. Do you agree so far? So what is h of negative four? What is g of negative 4? So when you multiply them together, what do you get? Negative 10. We're going to. We're going we're to get there. What is h of negative 4? Negative 1. What is g of negative 4? 10. Negative 1 times 10 is negative 10. Okay, so that's one way you can do it. The other way you can do it is to actually multiply H and G. So what is our H? Does that make sense? So what are you going to have to do? Which would be what? Do any of those terms combine? Nope. Okay, so now what do you do? Okay.
So what is negative 4 cubed? And then what? Plus 48 plus 24 minus 18. You would be correct if you guessed negative 10. It is right. You'll get the same thing either way. Does it matter which way you're doing it? I really don't care which way you do it. Whatever you want to do. If you want to switch it up from time to time, that's fine with me. Do y'all see how those work? Okay. Looking at one more example. Why doesn't it work? Can we plug negative 4 into G? So what does that mean? So answer is no solution. Zero with a line through it or your little brackets. Make sense? Any questions there? Okay.